See, if I was a boring hoster, I want you to pick two of your toughest guys, two guys that are part of your brotherhood. To step into the ring with two guys from our brotherhood, because I don't think you really know what brotherhood is all about. Okay, we're here. Stay or I will fight you. Yes. You want yes, it? You got it. Yes, I'm in. Let Parks go. Hoster, for the first time in your adult life, this isn't about you. This is about you watching what happens when you mess with us. You standing by helpless watching two of your toughest guys get destroyed by two of ours. And then knowing that it's all because of you. So the deal is, Hulk, you pick two, I pick two, we meet at Bob for Glory, we win, we get full access. You win, we go away. Deal. He Sting said, and I, we're ready. Yes. We're ready, Doug. Hulkster, once again, I don't think you're listening. You're a piece of This is not Hulk and Sting in the ring. This is Hulk watching what happens. Okay. I'll pick two. You've got a deal. Just let Parks go now. Parks will go after the match. Because we all know just how much of a chess player you are. He's our insurance. Nothing happens between now and Bound for Glory until we get our match. That's the deal. Let us go. I'll do it. You just need to make sure nobody hurts Parks. <laughs> Oh, you don't trust us. You got nothing to worry about. You have my word. And now, more Pro Wrestling Weekly with your host, Ferran Derry. Sit down, shut up, and listen up. Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com. Ferran Derry back with you and... Uh, of course, as you heard, a, a rather interesting, we'll call it lack of acting chops on the part of uh, Hogan as uh, being in the headquarters lair, whatever you want to call it, of, uh, of aces and eights, setting up a match for Bound for Glory, which is, of course, coming up in the future, two weeks from now. And it looks like we're going to have two members of TNA, two of the toughest members of TNA to be picked by Hogan, facing two of the toughest members of Aces and Eights in a confrontation where the winner, as you heard, well, if TNA wins, that'll be it for Aces and Eights. They'll disappear from, uh, from the TV screens. If Aces and Eights wins, they'll have full access to... Uh, yeah, they'll have full access to, to everything at TNA and Impact Wrestling. So, kind of a winner-take-all type thing. A lot of people think it's a comparison to uh, to the NWO storyline and uh, where things were going in the mid part of '96. After, of course, Bass at the Beach when uh, Hogan himself got involved and. Uh, John from the Northeast actually chiming in on the uh, Facebook fan page. A little Facebook feedback. Is TNA actually trying to invoke Bane from The Dark Knight Rises with that voiceover work? Well, considering that you had Sting there with the Joker face paint, I can see how uh, somebody's a huge Batman fan, but I can't necessarily say for sure. Anyway, a look at Bound for Glory. It's coming up in a couple of weeks, and so far there are five matches set on the card. We already mentioned the uh, the TNA versus Aces and Eights tag team match. You've also, of course, got Bobby Roode and James Storm. That was set up. This Well, it's been set up for a while, and everybody figured that this would be for the title. But uh, you're still getting that match, but it's going to be a false count anywhere street fight, and it was announced that King Mo. Of course, the uh, MMA fighter who's been uh, been brought in doing some stuff with Bellator and whatnot. King Mo is going to be the special guest enforcer for that street fight. And then you've got three title matches so far announced. Of course, the knockouts title, Tara challenging champion Miss Tessmacher. You've got a triple threat match for the tag team championships. Of course, AJ Styles and Kurt Angle 
Chavo Guerrero and Hernandez and the champions Christopher Daniels and Kazarian. And, and what we've seen, the Bound, of Glo Bound for Glory series lead up to Jeff Hardy challenging Austin Aries for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. We'll have a couple of more uh, matches announced, I would imagine, over the next couple of Thursdays as we're just over two weeks away from Bound for Glory. Even got a couple of matches set up for Hell in a Cell, and that's coming up four weeks from now. Set up last night on SmackDown. He had Sheamus against the Big Show for the world title. Of course, the number one contender match between the Big Show and Randy Orton. And thanks to Alberto Del Rio interfering and getting, getting an advantage on Orton, injuring his ribs. That led to the opening for the Big Show, and Big Show is now challenging Sheamus at Hell in a Cell for the world title. And, of course, it was announced that there will be a tag team title tournament to determine the number one, or I should say a number one contender tournament to challenge team friendship for the tag titles. And that, of course, the winner of that tournament will face Daniel Bryan and Kane at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. So far, the only match that we've had in that tournament was from SmackDown, and you had Rhodes Scholars, the new team, newly formed team of Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow, beating the Usos in just under two minutes. And there'll be there'll be a couple of more matches uh, announced as we go along. I should be able to get that tournament bracket for you coming up in the third segment. A couple of other tidbits of news and notes before we go back to the phones. Edge, well, he's going under the knife again. Edge announced he will be undergoing neck surgery on November 8th and will require about four months of recovery time. Looks like he's filmed everything that he's needed to with Haven. And uh, I believe he'll be in the area coming up uh, about a month from now, I want to say, before the surgery. I'll get an exact date for you, of course. Uh, Long-time uh, a, a colleague, I guess for lack of a better term, professional colleague, Rob uh, Feinstein and RF Video, he's taking care of that. So I'll get a little bit more information for you on that and uh, get that back to you. Also, this Monday on Raw coming up, we've got another social media ambassador, which, I don't know, what do you think of these social media ambassadors? Uh, in this case, it's going to be longtime uh, former CNN host Larry King. He'll be... Uh, tweeting and I guess touting throughout the show getting his various thoughts on this upcoming Monday's Raw. I don't know. Do, do you like the guest hosts back when they had those? you prefer the social media ambassador? Or do you think that neither you know, really work? Yeah, I guess we can I don't know. We can certainly debate on that. And an upcoming appearance to take note of. I just found out about this this morning and I'm looking forward to it. It's coming up a week from this Tuesday. Foley, Mick Foley, coming to the area October 9th. That's right, he'll be at the Hamilton Township Barnes & Noble at uh, 425 Marketplace Boulevard. That's uh, just off of Route 130, not too far from Exit 5 of I-95. Uh, that'll be Tuesday, October 9th at 6.30 p.m. You can get a signed copy of his new children's book, A Most Miserable Christmas. And, of course, get the chance to meet the hardcore legend Mick Foley. A story I kind of talked about a little bit earlier, Juggalo gang allegations. That's right, the Insane Clown Posse. You remember them? They've done some stuff with WWE, WCW, uh, among, you know, ECW, among others. They issued a statement on their website to announce that they are suing the FBI. Good luck with that. In hopes of discovering why the band's Juggalo fans are listed as a gang. Uh, the group had a statement saying, quote, We are not a gang. We are a family. We come together for the love of the insane clown posse, psychopathic records, and our juggalo pride. Can we take a bleeping minute to note that Jimmy Buffett's Parrot Heads, Lady Gaga's Little Monsters, Justin Bieber's Beliebers, the Grateful Dead's Deadheads, and many more haven't been labeled as a gang? Where's the kahuna when we need him to ask uh, to get a response regarding the mentioning of the Grateful Dead's Deadheads? I don't know. I guess he, well, he's off getting ready for a show, I guess, more than likely. But, yeah, interesting, uh, interesting words from Violent J and the rest of the insane clown posse uh, regarding gang allegations uh, for the Juggalo fans. You never know where this show's going to go. Also, uh, a Guerrero leaving the WWE umbrella. Shaw Guerrero, who uh, you know, was known in the ring as Raquel Diaz, has been released from her WWE developmental contract, according to F4WOnline.com. Shaw is the oldest of Eddie and Vicky Guerrero's daughters. That's right. They only had daughters. They didn't have any sons. So, 
Yeah, Shaw Guerrero looks like if she's going to be sticking with wrestling, it won't be with WWE, at least in the time being. All right, we've got a few minutes here before we take care of a little more business. Let's uh, go to the phones real quick and get uh, Ed, who's been hanging patiently. Ed, welcome to Pro Wrestling Week. Good afternoon. Uh, Ed will be at Dave & Buster's in, along the waterfront October 7th. I knew that was coming up. October, uh, that's right, October 7th. That's, um, is that a Monday, I think? What, Sunday. Sunday, oh, that's right, because the 6th would be next Saturday. That would be when I would, would normally be on the air, but I'm not going to be. Yeah, so one week from tomorrow, just before, uh, yeah, just before, uh, no pay-per-view to worry about. Edge and Tommy Dreamer, that's right, and that's going on courtesy of, uh, I mentioned Rob Feinstein of RF Video. And Tommy Dreamer has his own promotion now. The uh, HOH, House of yeah. Hardcore. You might see it pop up in the Philadelphia area sometime in the next couple months. Yeah, I know he's working on getting that stuff together, and uh, you know, I can take a look, uh, take a look at that. Kind of have some more information. I'll probably even put that on the uh, put that on the uh, the webisode coming up next week. And That's certainly a possibility. There's two other shows coming up. TWS in Rahway. With Vader, DDP, Ox Becker, Jimmy Hart, and a whole lot more. Excellent, good stuff. Any, oh wow! Look, look at the time. Uh, th thanks so much for the info, Ed. I gotta get, uh, gotta get rolling. We'll take care of a little bit of. Uh, we'll get a little bit more. Oh, man, we'll get a little bit more from John from the Northeast, uh, throwing some Jesse Venturisms out there. Uh, some more feedback on. Uh, who you'd like to see, who you haven't seen in a while. And, uh, yeah, we've got Bob with some Facebook feedback back on that. Uh, Dan, of course, with a question. And uh, the rodent uh, seems to be chiming in as well uh, to give us the information we just got here. October 7th at the, uh, well, no, it's not Dave and Brown. It'd be uh, Dave and Busters. But, you know, good attempt there. Uh, keep, keep, keep working that keyboard there, rodent. Anyway, we'll come back. We've got, of course, the shoe update that uh, I've been plugging all along we'll definitely get that in the third segment also talk a little bit about the hulkster and raw not doing so well we'll talk a little bit about that as far as the ratings and a former wwe diva going to be j guest judging project runway who will it be i'll find out on the other side and we'll also get time for ron who's been hanging patiently we'll get him on the other side as well as time for you as well 215-949-3232 or toll free at 888 922 2149. Those are the ways to reach us. You can also look on Facebook. We've got the Facebook feedback. Just look for the group WBCB Pro Wrestling Weekly. And of course, archives of the show in case you miss us or on the weeks that I'm not on. If you want to get my thoughts, uh, you'll actually see me as opposed to just hearing me. And you can look that all up on YouTube. Just look for WBCB Pro Wrestling Weekly. I'll start to get into the habit of putting the links up on the Facebook page just to make it a little bit easier to find. And that's uh, where you can check out the third webisode from, uh, from last Saturday because I was preempted for high school football. We'll have another one coming up next Saturday and a bunch of stuff to talk about there. And then, of course, I'll be back on Saturday the 13th with a preview of Bound for Glory. But for now, more a whole bunch of stuff coming up. Time for you as well. This is Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com.